it's Cynthia. Today we're going to talk about the series Bible. A lot of people are working hard and diligently on writing your pilot scripts and putting together a whole sense of this world that you are creating and how it will be a robust and alive series. Eight episodes, 12, 22 episodes maybe is what's in your mind. Well, the next step after you do write your pilot script would be to write your series Bible. The series Bible is the accompaniment that expands upon your series beyond just the pilot episode. It would include things like the all-important logline. A logline is something that a lot of writers overlook the importance of. Think about it if you were in an elevator and suddenly the doors open to Sam Esmail, or to the Duffer Brothers, or to Steven Spielberg, and you are in this elevator and you're like, oh my God, I want to pitch them my series so badly. But the first thing that you should have ready for that potential elevator moment is your log line. The log line is a one to two line summary of your series. Make sure you have that down in your mind pretty exactly so that you can say it on a dime at any given moment. Let's say you're in the checkout line at the grocery store. You just happen to be standing behind J.J. Abrams or you turn around. You're like, oh my God, that's Keanu Reeves. You would be so perfect in my screenplay. Whoever it is you might run into or come across, even if it's even if it's a moment on Twitter or on some open chat forum where you're like, oh my God, I could chat with this person. I know that sounds far-fetched, but it isn't. Life is full of opportunities and the log line is all about opportunities. So think about your log line as an opportunity moment where you can just slide in 30 second line that sums up your series. Actually, the shorter the better. So you need to really think fast on your feet, but it would help a lot if you had something pre-thought out and pre-recorded in your head so that you could regurgitate it at any given moment. All right, so definitely put some time and thought into the log line. So your series Bible should have your log line, then a summary. You should have a summary for your pilot episode that shouldn't be more than about a paragraph. Then you should also give a sense of your series. How you would do that is really about mapping out arcs. So let's talk a second about what an arc is. So in a story context, the beginning, middle, and end, also known as an arc, could be about your season arc, it could be about your pilot episode arc, it could be about your characters and your character arcs. It could be about your character arc in your pilot. It could be about your character arc in season one. It could be about your character arc over their lifetime. Whatever the arc is, that is important to remember because in every step of the way, whether it be your logline, your summary, your episode summaries, your character bios, Every part of your written piece in your series Bible, think in terms of an arc. Tell that part of your series Bible as an arc. So for example, if you are summarizing your season one, tell me where it begins, where's the middle, and where's the end. You can tell me that your season begins when this event happens, and then you might say a catastrophe happens in the town of Happyville, and everyone has to deal with the fallout and chaos of what happens in this catastrophe and then by the end of season one the town that thought that they couldn't get through and the characters that thought they couldn't get along suddenly all get along and realize the importance of what their lives are really about so that's an arc it gave me a beginning a middle and an end so think about every single part of your series bible in that light after you've done a summary of your pilot Give a sense of your series by way of telling me where's your series going. Then tell me a little bit about the style and tone of your series. If you have, let's say, a, a catastrophe-oriented series, but it's got a quirky sense of humor maybe, give a sense of that in terms of your tone and style. So in tone and style, you'll want to tell me things like, 
This is being told as though the main character was living in a different planet and is looking in on his own planet as a foreigner. Give me a sense of your point of view as the writer and your point of view as a storyteller. Next up are things like your character bios. The character bios are what they sound like, biographies for your characters. Try again to go back to that concept of the arc, so give me a beginning, middle, and end sense of your character. And that really is about the character's journey in your season. So give me a sense of where they began. Maybe they began as a character that didn't value children, and as things evolve in your series, that is their lesson. They, they must learn that they have to value children. Could be as straightforward as something like that or something more complex, like they're actually a reluctant hero. I'll give you an example of a classic reluctant hero is Han Solo. When he began in his journey in Star Wars, he was not somebody who really cared to be a hero. He just kind of became one as he went along for the ride and his true color started to show. After your character bios, you'll want to give me a sense of your episode. Since I have your pilot episode already as a script, I get that you're devoted to it enough to have written a pilot script. I may not have read your pilot script yet, but I know since it's sitting on my desk or it's sitting in my inbox, I know that you're serious enough to have a pilot episode. Now I need to get a sense of where is it going? Are you just a one hit wonder with a pilot episode or have you thought it out as a series creator in terms of what episode three, what will episode two look like? What will episode three look like? What will episode seven look like? What will be resolved by episode six? These are all the questions that I will have as a development executive, whether I work for a production company, a studio, or a network, I'll be questioning these thoughts in my mind. So please include them in your series Bible. Next up is your season arcs. It's always going to change your course, so don't think that you're locking yourself in just because these things are in writing. These are the things that a development professional will want to see that you've thought about and that you've put enough thought to that you at least have some great ideas of where your season arc can go. So think about it in terms of a season one arc. So your season one, let's take an example like Stranger Things. The character of Steve. Steve began as the guy that none of us liked. He was kind of a, a bit of a misogynist. He was a guy that you, that you really didn't want to see your best friend with. And by the latter part of Stranger Things season one, this guy started to change his colors. Maybe he's not such a bad guy. And by the very end of season one, Steve shows himself to be a hero. Maybe an un unwitting hero, but a hero nonetheless. I don't know if the audience really saw that coming, which was great because I certainly didn't. I remember thinking, oh, let's get rid of this guy. And then he came back and he was even more of a hero in season two and in season three. As to a format, no two series Bibles really look alike because there really isn't a predetermined format. Just keep in mind your audience and who might be reading your piece. If that development executive has 10 to 20 series Bibles to get through that day or that weekend, definitely keep it brief, but keep it succinct and keep it on focus. So make sure you yourself know what it is that your series is. So your tone will come across as the true creator of a series and believable as though you really know where this series is going. Examples of the series Bible. Now I've seen series Bibles that are so long that the writer set up a very convenient table of contents. Well, I see this in the series Bible for Battlestar Galactica, the series that reinvented or reimagined Battlestar Galactica in the early 2000s. And this was a fantastic series Bible written by Ron Moore. In this particular series, Battlestar Galactica really did need to have an extensive in-depth series Bible because it was creating a world that was new to an audience. The audience may or may not have seen the 1970s series, but even so, this series was nothing like the 1970s series. So the series Bible gave me access to what the writer creator was envisioning. However, if you're doing, let's say, a crime story type of series where it's based in Florida, based in modern day, and it's embedded in reality, you may not need as long a series Bible. In that case, I might say 12 to 20 pages. I hope this has been helpful. Once you have all your materials together, your pilot script, your series Bible, 
The next thing would be something called a lookbook, which I'll talk about in a separate video. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.